High school student uh, teams from across the U.S. and Texas compete in the Solar Car Challenge, the largest solar car race in the Western Hemisphere. Mackenzie Becker, part of one of the local teams, she's from Coppell High School, ready to start racing tomorrow, is that right? Yes, that is right. Today is the last day of scrutineering, um, which is basically where we go through a process to make sure our car is safe and built correctly. Um, and after that, we have to go through with all of our judges. Um, there's about eight different stations we have to pass. And after that, we'll be clear to start racing on the track. And we're all really excited about that. Yeah, this is like science fair to the extreme. And you guys are actually in the garages right now that the NASCAR drivers use to, uh, to get their cars ready for the big races at Texas Motor Speedway. Definitely. And it's really, really cool to be out here. Um, it's, I know it's an amazing experience for everyone to see all this. And it's kind of all of our dreams. I mean, we've been working on building cars for years now and being able to bring it out to a place where cars are raced and it's famous here um, is really an amazing experience and wicked cool for all of us. It, it is wicked cool. It's, it's, it's going to be hotter than heck. I bet when you're, if you're driving the car, if you're lucky enough to be the driver, just that little bit of a breeze certainly is a relief when you start uh, racing around the track. Oh, definitely. I mean, out here, we're in a giant concrete dome, so yeah. it can get extremely hot out here. Um, we have a lot of things going around with water and safety and our hats uh, to help keep us from getting sunburned. And it's, it's going to be fun. It's definitely hot, but it's going to be worth it. And we're really, really excited for it. Now, this is all high school students in a couple of different divisions and classes, but you're not going to be actually racing each other all on the track at the same time. These are, it's basically a time trial, basically, right? Sort of. Uh, we're kind of going for endurance in a way. We're trying to see how many laps we can all get. So it's less about just kind of who can go the fastest immediately. There's a lot of strategy involved in our racing because technically you can just pedal to the metal and drain all your batteries all at once and then you'll be kind of crawling around the track for the rest of the race and that's never a good thing. So there's a lot of math and strategic value in going through and seeing kind of what's the best way to do it and how's the most efficient way for you to run your car. Some of these cars look kind of like a glorified golf cart and, and some of them look like something that just landed from outer space. So it, it's just your imagination and your engineering expertise as high school students that decides what that car looks like. Well, you're completely right because some of these cars were made from golf carts. Um, a lot of us pull from pretty much anything we can. Um, as high school kids, we're doing all the fundraising ourselves and all the building ourselves. So we do whatever we can, and a lot of these cars all look completely different and unique, and that's what makes it really interesting. Because no two cars are going to be the same, and it's really cool to walk around the track and meet the other teams and see the other cars, and it really gives inspiration for all of us to see kind of what we could try and work with next year. And you're going to be a senior, is that right? Yes, I will be a senior next year, okay. so I'm really excited uh, to have one more year at the track, because um, I definitely look forward to it every single year. Thank you so much. Congratulations on being team captain. Best of luck tomorrow. Best of luck to all the racers. We've got more details on the Solar Car Challenge on fox4news.com.